because uh, people will freak out on me. Holy crap, there's lots of bad stuff around there. Nope. Nope, nope. Have I played Witcher? Uh, I tried The Witcher 3 multiple times, and it was too slow. And, uh, I could never get very far in it. What about you? Was that a game uh, you enjoyed? Hidden over here? This is oddly placed. Barrel. Nope. Nothing worthwhile. Bummer. But that's the edge of the map. <laughs> We're just going up and around and avoiding the tree altogether. Wait, what? There's a yellow dot over here. There was a yellow dot. I'm not crazy. Okay, it's gone now. I don't know what happened there. Where are we? Oh, okay, we're back to the beginning. Now, maybe we'll go talk to the advocate guy. And I went to the archives, I thought, but nothing was there. Yellow dot. Nothing's there. All right, Mr. Advocate Man. And so uh, I have two humans, an elf, and uh, they're called Eternal in my party. Uh, there's also a dwarf um, and lizard people. They're like, they're just big lizard people. Pretty cool looking. I think that's all the races. Your attention is appreciated, sir, but misplaced. You kill, kill the bastard, wear his skin, dance in his hands. Whoa, these people are crazy. Um, but it's cool because there's like six or seven characters that all have their pre-made story that you can find out by playing the campaign. So all these are the pre-made characters, and I'm learning four people's storylines while going through here. Um, or you can choose to make your own custom character as well. Oh, I thought she was a shrieker. Are you floating? You look like you're floating at this angle. The elf's face, twisted in a grotesque rage, slowly calmed. All right, this guy crazy. I beg your pardon. You need to speak to the advocate. No, it the sounds like everyone that speaks to him goes crazy. He is waiting. All right, so you'll probably meet a lizard person here. You got anything nasty to say to me? Okay, let's see what this master wants. Sweet thing. Succulent thing. We are so pleased to see you, but not as pleased as him. You look into her eyes and see screams. You hear her gaze upon your body and taste her carnal, violent lust, metallic and sharp as a blade in your mouth. Ugh. Go. Speak to the advocate. Make him happy. Bring him pleasure. The writing in this game is freaking amazing. The tree is surrounded, and the advocate has us skipping stones. Dark words should not sully those honey. Are you? The hulking warrior's eyes dart about in panic, but his voice is loud and strong, even if it does not quite match the movement of his lips. You! You have been summoned. Go do your duty, now! That is all we need. I'm gonna loot all your dead people here. Any more? No? Doggo! Oh. Okay, so I think I leave them all. Um, where'd the doggo go? Sabiel, talk to the doggo! Doggo! Tree, 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 tree. Gotta get back. Gotta go. Can't let it out. Can't let them know. So, um, 
Sabeel has a talent that allows her to speak to animals, and it's now my favorite talent in the game. It has so many uses. You can talk to everything. You learn secrets, some of the best storylines, and mini side quests are hilarious. Pet Pal is uh, a talent that I think everyone should get. Adds a ton more content to the game, too. Alright, is it you? <gasps> oh my god, it's my favorite character! I was wondering when we were gonna see her again. Malady, I love you. How can I tell if he's to be trusted? Ah, there you are. And with just the little demonic yes. host I've been looking for. You don't mind if I have a word with Ms. Losa, do you? Go for it. I was it. just curious about the progress of your little hunt. Oh, Malady's badass. I love her. I met your old buddy, Jahan, if that's what you mean. I don't have buddies. I have associates. So, did he help you with the uh, <clears throat> matter at hand? He's putting me through my paces. I have a few more hoops to jump through before he'll help me. Nothing in life is free, I suppose. Make sure you do jump them, though, sir. You won't be sorry. Aha! -ha! Where are you going? I want to be your friends. You, you're here to work. Are you also here to trade? I have matched the to Wishmaster. You're talking as who I are trade, you? you have Why do you sound normal? I have wares, nothing else matters. If What's you like going your on? Nose, then do not stick it where it's not welcome. <laughs> we are where we are meant to be. We will be told when we are meant to be somewhere else. What did Melody <laughs> want? Or Melody your want? Your friend wanted a new deal. Wanted to renegotiate terms. We have a wager. Some say she succeeds. Some say not. What say you? You may not be interested in a friendly wager. A demonic betting pool? Sure, I want to see a friendly Good. wager. Tell me, how do you bet? For the half blood or against? Uh. Wait, Crackly Nichols Malady's a friend. What's she gotten herself into? I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to bet on Malady because she's badass. But I'm going to say this one because it gives me the ability. Mmm. She made a deal with our master. But her reward, her obligation, strictly confidential. But the advocate is quick to remind her. The master does not make deals lightly. The master does not break them. I'm going to bet on Malady because she's cool. Good. Now, see what happens. Until then... Do you wish to trade? Look, sure, what do, you got? do not touch. Not until you fatten my purse. Now, if me doing that causes Malady to die, I'm going to be very upset. See you again. Perhaps. Let's do... That. Really, do you have nothing? Holy shit. I'm picking that up. Lose a strength, gain two constitution. Oh yeah, that's way better. Screw that noise. Totally picking that up. Got anything special here? I tier blank polynorph. Okay. He's got a bunch of oh that's die. Slime, he's got weird stuff in here. Got nothing else, really. All right. Here you go, mate. That thing was dope. Thanks, sir. Let's put that on. That to where's? Where did that gear go? Fine. Auto sword. I don't need them anymore. Here you go. Look at that armor, dude. That's insanity. Strength constitution. Is that better for you? Nope. Oh, manage runes or something on it, isn't it? To where's Dark words should not sully those honey men. All 
That's my bar. And it's runes. What do you got? Might do more physical armor. Yep. A lot more physical armor. Cool. New armor. Oh, he looks cool too. Save it up. Alright, Melody's over there. I'm gonna go talk to her. Uh, it's you. Yeah, you don't sound happy. I didn't expect to meet you here. I can't see why not. I've got business all around the realm, same as you. What are you attending None to now? of yours. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, why are you being rude? You're in debt to a powerful demon, aren't you? You're embarrassing me in front of the other agents of evil. Mm. We'll talk about this later. She pointedly ignores you. <laughs> Cracks me up. Oh, it's a skele lizard. And a doggo. He's got a cool weapon. Not here for you, mortal. Stay out of my way. Scratch behind his ears. As you reach down, the hound's flesh twists, forming sharp, jagged spikes. Yeah, I figured that Maybe was something not. bad was going to happen. What's important about I the sound? relish the scenery and the lack of company. Uh, don't pet demon puppies. Bad things. Okay, loading up on his beard. The lizard's eyes are dark as polished coal, void of all light. A no, let me zoom in. seems to cover the cracked and broken scales around his mouth. You have a reputation for both malfeasance and chaos. Imagine my surprise when it took you so long to find your way here. He's I see cool. the miasma surrounding our islet certainly did not hinder you. Well, here you stand, in the flesh, so to speak. And a finer collection of corpusculae I never have seen. I trust you are not opposed to a mutually beneficial accord between civil and gentle persons. <laughs> what exactly are you talking about? That's a lot of bluster to say I need your help. Yep. You need not fear eloquence, my friend. Indeed, you need not fear anything. You could not be more secure in your well-being than you are amongst this congregation. I am here at the behest of my master to offer you a simple exchange. An offer of aid for the promise of aid. The epitome of civil reciprocity. You and he possess a common foe. The power behind the Void Woken has made our lives hell, so to speak. Since the Divine Order unleashed Death Fog against the Black Ring and those darling woodland creatures. And as the gods have shirked their duty, perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement pertaining to both of our objectives. Indeed, I can offer you the source channel that you seek forthwith as a gesture of good faith. Hmm. No longer read you things unless the consequences are crystal clear. Yeah, kind of want to do that. Might be interesting, but you have some questions first. I have some questions ah, first. Indeed, the creatures that strut about this realm so often do. Very well. I can see them straining against your lips. Unleash them, Godwoken. Ask your questions. Why would Because he help it you? is expeditious to do so. My master would have this isle cleared as quickly as possible. The lizard looks about to make sure no one else can hear, leans in and whispers conspiratorially. And? If you are to become the new divine, I would much rather be an ally than a foe. After Mark. all, the power you wield will be as a great sword to my master's butter knife. 
There are legions that would follow you, myself included. Your power would be unfathomable. Assuming, of course, you take it for your own. Really? This guy wants to be an ally? Yeah, what can you justify to side with the demon? Why, the only thing you truly desire? Or certainly the only thing you truly need? I will reveal unto you the location of the Council of Seven. How could you know My that? master has dealt with many of your ilk. Small-minded creatures with a hunger for power, out to save themselves or loved ones or the world, some fantasy or another. But all are willing to strike a covenant if it means their success. One was even willing to give up the location of this council to earn my master's boon. How felicitous that you merely have to spill a little blood to earn the same. Yeah, who does he, who do you my serve? My master's identity is of no practical consequence in this matter. You need concern yourself with nothing barring the truth that my master always honors his vows. Your smoldering half-demon pet can attest to that. I we'll know about who's behind the void One may ask, one may inquire, but one should be eternally wary of what one demands. And one should heed that twicefold for information like this. There is power in names, power far, far in excess of your mortal limits. I'll not deliver that power unto him. I kind of don't want to threaten him. A I have other questions. Decision. My master has been troubled by the presence of the void as it creeps ever forward, encroaching on areas in which he himself once ruled supreme. None more so than this island. There is a tree at this island's core which has special significance to my master. Think of it as hallowed sacrosanct ground but the black ring maggots writhe all about its trunk Saw that. and you will exterminate these termites it is simplicity itself in truth i want to know about his business with malady i she is the one that comes to me helm in hand in a sad attempt to beg and snivel her way out of previous and quite binding contracts Alas, I am not at liberty to say more. My master values privacy above all else. He would not take it kindly if he discovered I had been indiscreet. Did I check his wares? And not. <gasps> One-handed. Bummer. What are you using, Losa? One-handed mace. You will keep that. Uh, do I want to learn to channel source from him? An excellent decision decisively delivered. It is indeed within my ingenuity to grant such a boon. Understand, Godwoken, that source abounds in all things. The lizard's hand lashes out, the palm landing flat on your forehead. Ow. You feel a cold pain start to spread across your skull, but deep within you, something stirs. There is neither enigmatic lore nor magical jewel required to open the channels of source. It is enough to seize it with sufficient force of will, to know that all creatures are nothing but source and vain hope. Look at this guy. He's being all crazy you feel now. the pull of a far-off connection. You feel the dungeon, the red organic tendrils binding you. Your ears are filled with screams, and you're surprised to find they are your own. Now, what are you doing? Granting the power that you need, Godwoken. The gift that I have proffered is free, but it is not without a cost. All things exist in balance, so your gain must mean a loss to another. Do not fear for his soul. 
It is unworthy. It is already damned. No power in this world can save it. This is an act of kindness. <laughs>